What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech and we're doing more lightweight gaming mice, specifically the Model D- minus from Glorious. Now we did do a review of its brother, cousin, I don't know, the Model O- a little while ago. Of course, feel free to check that out up there. Uh, and just FYI, of course, we did purchase this with our own money. So all opinions, whatever, they are our own. And we'll also put a link in the description below beneath that sub button if you'd like to support it, help support the channel. Buy it, help support the channel. If you've been with the channel for a while, you may have noticed that our recent rash of mouse reviews, they've almost always been the mini version. That's because I kind of have smallish hands. They're kind of wide, but not very long. So I found that small mice tend to work a bit better for me. And since I'm on a quest to find, at least for me, the ultimate FPS gaming mouse, here we are. The Model D- minus by Glorious is the smaller brother of the larger Model D, their Ergo mouse. And it's only also for right-handers, so sorry, Southpaws. Starting out, the box is nice, as expected now with Glorious. Uh, there's, you know, the kind of orange goldy accents and the ascended on the side. Once you open the box, they've kept the kind of the wider profile of the box as well to help keep the cables from breaking like they did in the, in the earlier versions of the box. In the box, you get the usual stickers, you know, letter from the CEO, quick start guide, so you know like what DPI you're on and how to change the RGB, which obviously is extremely important. A little you know, add-on that they have is the large G-Skates feet, uh, if you want some more surface area for the skates. Looking at the mouse, you can see it's definitely made for righties. The honeycomb top slants down to the right to the solid side. The left side is solid as well with the back and forward buttons. Of course, you have the RGB lights running down the sides and in the mouse wheel. Now, overall, looks really nice, though I wish we'd gotten the white one. We have the model O- in white and it just looks awesome. Build quality is a bit of a mixed bag for me. There's no real like rattle when shaking around, which is good, but you do get some creak if you press down a bit on the top, even just like in a normal palm grip, you'll get the creak. I'll drop a sound test in just a little bit so you can hear that. The bottom flexes actually quite a bit as well, and you get that flex on top too. Honestly, it's a little disconcerting, but also you really shouldn't be like pressing on the bottom of your mouse uh, that, that way anyway, so stop it. When pressing the top, there is some flex on the main buttons, but not a whole lot. There isn't really like much side to side play in the main switches either. Squeezing the sides does give some creak as well, but I don't activate the back button, which is nice. I run across that in like so many mice these days where you just squeeze it and it activates. It's kind of annoying. The actual switches for right and left are arm rounds rated at 20 million clicks. They activate essentially instantly, basically zero pre-travel and there's almost no post-travel as well. I love it. They don't tell us what the side buttons are, but they're satisfying to click to cat and give really, really good feedback. And while they do have a bit of post-travel, there's essentially no pre-travel kick the mouse. The mouse wheel has good tactile feel. It's quiet enough that you, you know, won't like wake up your roommate while endlessly scrolling Reddit at 2 a.m. The mouse wheel button is a bit on the firm side, but you know, it kind of helps keep, keep down like the accidental clicks. And the DPI button is like, it's fine. It's for DPI, it wiggles a bit, but it works and it's for DPI. So yeah, whatever, let's take a listen. All right, let's start talking about fit. The mouse is 61 millimeters at the front and, and in the middle and flares out to 67 millimeters at the hips. It's 40 millimeters at its tallest, 120 millimeters long. My hands at 11 and a half centimeters wide, 18.5 millimeters long, centimeters long. This mouse fits me pretty well. I generally use, you know, like modified hybrid palm, palm claw grip, uh, leaning a bit towards the palm grip. Uh, indentation for my thumb is just enough to make it feel secure. And the side buttons are high enough that I don't like hit them accidentally. I will say this is probably best for like claw and hybrid palm claw grip. Full palm grip doesn't, doesn't quite feel right for me because it has such a shallow like tapered down from the middle to the back. Uh, the, the Mira S by HK Gaming has a much sharper taper. Uh, that one like really fits right in the palm. Uh, with Model D minus, you get contact right at the top of the mouse. 
And then at the back, what's kind of missing like in between a little bit. Fingertip grip is on this is just right out for me. The right side panel is just a little too slick. It's not like the worst, but at least for me, if I'm not like really gripping and like concentrating on holding it, it can slip out if you're if you're like, you know, resetting the mouse or maybe my ring and pinky fingers are just really weak. Well, we'll never know. The feet are 100% PTFE glorious G skates. They're awesome. Uh, it's basically like greased up deaf guy from Family Guy under your mouse. So smooth. Also on the bottom is the DPI indicator. It's fine. You obviously can't see it if you switch DPI mid game, but it, but it works, I guess. Uh, the quick start guide that comes in the box gives you default colors for each DPI, which is really nice. And while we're on the quick start guide, we can talk about the RGB. The guide shows you how to change the RGB around without, you know, using the software. After some of the testing I've done with more like robust, I should guess I could say software, I really appreciate companies just kind of letting us plug and play. And while I really like the RGB options, the execution actually leaves a bit to be desired. At least on our model, the light strips down the sides have definite like hot spots where the LEDs are. Now, obviously you want to save as much weight as possible. So, you know, the less LEDs, I, I get that, but it's still a bit distracting. And maybe it's in that black version too, because I did not notice this in the, you know, the white model O minus that we got, but uh, but there it is. The good news, it doesn't actually affect the gaming. <laughs> Big surprise. At 61 grams, this is an extremely lightweight mouse. And with the PixArt PMW3360 sensor, it performs like you would expect. I'm using at home the Glorious 3XL uh, mouse pad to play and the mouse is just a freaking beast. It feels like just nothing in the hand and the sensor lets me like pwn noobs as long as they kind of suck. I feel extremely confident saying that this is just the best sensor out there right now. And I keep wondering why people like, I don't know, Logitech and Razer refuse to use it. People who have never used this sensor are like legit missing out. Even the 3389 sensor on like the uh, Extrafy M4 just kind of feels weird to me now. This is just phenomenal. And the cable doesn't really get in the way either when gaming. I really like their, you know, ascended cord. It's super soft, really flexible, really light. It's almost like using a wireless mouse, honestly, but we won't know what it's like to use a wireless glorious mouse until I think it's November when it comes out. So get subscribed if you want to see the Model O wireless review. But back to the Model D minus, I really do overall like the mouse. Uh, the software is lightweight enough. You know, if you want to change the DPI settings, all that stuff, easy to use and pretty basic. Even with the concerns I have about the build quality and, you know, the RGB, it can creak sometimes while actually playing too. It's still like really good ergo mouse. I think it'll work best probably for people who, you know, medium to medium small size hands, maybe not actually small, you know, really small hands, just, I don't know, it still might be a little bit large. And I would say maybe look for a symmetrical mouse for like the actual small hands. And if you're a fingertip user, this just might not be the best, but you know, palm claw gripper would be pretty happy with this. So basically I'll say this, even with its drawbacks and the other mice that I'm going to be testing very soon, Razer Viper Ultimate, Logitech G Pro Wireless, the Model D minus is still gonna stay plugged in and probably on my desk within easy reach when I just wanna sit down and play. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome content. Let us know in the comments below if you're upgrading now or waiting to see how the Model O wireless stacks up and we'll catch you in the next one.